Have you ever contemplated whether we're truly alone in the universe? Of course, expecting there's another component to our presence other than whatever we see. Imagine what is happening in which the James Webb Telescope at long last shows that we live inside a damn dark opening. Join us as we find out more about this essential news that will make you question all that you thought you knew about the universe. So, what precisely are dim openings, black holes? They're like something out of a terrible dream. Sure, you could have seen them in science fiction movies, but they're actually much more terrifying. They're not only that, as shown by examiners. Completely dim openings in space are viewed as tremendous sums of matter fit into a staggeringly small region. Think about a star a few times more huge than the sun, all pressed into a circle the size of New York City. The gravitational pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Researchers have been fascinated by dim openings for a long time. Since then, they've theorized about objects in space so massive and dense that they could trap light. The most notable ideas regarding dim openings were anticipated by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Essentially, when a large star reaches the end of its life, it forsakes a thick core. If this core's mass is a few times that of the sun, gravity overpowers everything resulting in the creation of a black hole. Distinguishing dim black holes is difficult, mainly because they emit no light. Investigators have found ways to infer their presence by observing their effects on adjacent matter. For example, if a dim opening passes through a cloud of interstellar matter, it will pull that matter towards it in a process called accretion. Additionally, when a normal star gets too close to a dim opening, it can be destroyed releasing X-rays as it does so. Dim openings also have massive effects on their surroundings. They can consume nearby stars, produce powerful radiation, and even influence the formation of new stars in some regions, while slowing it down in others. But where do dim openings come from? Picture stars once bright and exploding, meeting their extreme destiny in a dazzling blast called a supernova. From the remnants of these fallen giants, Dim openings arise. Most dim openings are born from massive stars that have reached their retirement party in a supernova explosion. Smaller stars, when they die, transform into something many refer to as neutron stars, which are extremely dense, but not dense enough to trap light. However, if a star is a few times the mass of our sun, it implodes under its own gravitational pull, forming a dim opening. As powerful as these breakdowns are a strange thing happens near their surfaces, time itself begins to play tricks. From the perspective of someone far away, time appears to slow down near the event horizon, the last point of no return for anything falling into a dim opening. Maybe the star's clock ticks at a different speed compared to ours. Incidentally, when two smaller dim openings collide, they merge to form an even bigger, and more terrifying dim opening. If a dim opening interacts with a neutron star, they create a phenomenon that defies understanding. Researchers have been wrestling with the size of these massive anomalies for a long time. Dim openings come in two sizes, small and massive. There's a mysterious secret surrounding them that we truly can't untangle. Anyway, here's the twist. Small is relative when it comes to dim openings. Extremely large dim openings the remnants of giant stars can be as massive as 10 to 100 times the size of the sun. There could be as many as 10 million to a billion of them in the Milky Way alone. That is a grandiose number of dim openings that could swallow anything in their way. However, hang on, there's something even bigger. Very large dim openings are at the opposite end of the scale. They are millions, if not billions, of times more massive than the sun. They exist at the center of huge galaxies, including our own Milky Way. It's like a vast, dead emptiness pulling everything toward it. The prestigious physicist Stephen Hawking talked about dim openings throughout his life. His talks were always insightful, though some of his theories couldn't be confirmed due to a lack of necessary equipment. However, there is hope on the horizon. A single scientific instrument is making a huge difference, and we're not ready for it. It goes by the name of the James Webb Space Telescope, also known as JWST, and it's here to explore the depths of our universe. Let me tell you, 
The JWST is no ordinary telescope. It's an engineering marvel, a demonstration of the power of human ambition. Sure, we've launched other space telescopes before, and they've done their jobs fine and dandy. But this bad boy is truly impressive. The JWST makes the Hubble telescope, which has served us for decades, seem like a mere speck in the universe. The price tag for this cosmic wonder is a staggering $10 billion. Yes, you heard that right. That's enough zeros to blow your mind. And get this, it took the combined efforts of NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency to bring this wonder to life, along with valuable contributions from over 300 universities. But we shouldn't forget the risks that come with such a phenomenal undertaking. I know this isn't a task for the faint of heart. The JWST is venturing into strange territory, pushing the boundaries of what we know and taking us to places we've only dreamed of. After a successful launch, NASA recently reported that the telescope has enough fuel to last more than twice its base mission life. Since its launch, the JWST has achieved countless incredible milestones, traveling over 1 million miles to reach its orbit around the Sun, where it will remain indefinitely during its mission. The telescope successfully deployed its massive five-layer sun shield and enormous primary mirror, both of which had to be folded to fit onto the launch vehicle. Now that NASA has adjusted and fine-tuned it, the telescope is nearly ready for full operation. One of the most captivating pieces of the James Webb Space Telescope mission was when NASA reported that it had captured its first images of starlight. The first picture taken by the telescope was of a star called HD 8446 resulting in a mosaic of 18 scattered brilliant spots from the star's light captured by the 18 mirror segments on the primary mirror. NASA later released another truly astounding image of HD 8446, in which the 18 unfocused copies of the star were combined into a deliberate hexagonal arrangement. Once the observatory successfully aligns the individual segments of the primary mirror, it will begin the image stacking process combining the 18 pictures into one clear view. Thanks to its cutting-edge technology, the JWST will help scientists look at the early stages of the universe after the Big Bang. It will focus on what happened after the first stars formed, a period known as the Epoch of Reionization. This period refers to when neutral hydrogen was reionized, made to have an electric charge again, by radiation from these first stars. This includes looking back billions of years which is only possible with a powerful telescope like the JWST. The telescope will also assist researchers in discovering exoplanets, which are incredibly difficult to detect due to the way they interact with their host stars. Its powerful sensors will be able to observe these planets in more detail, sometimes even IMAG. Researchers are also trying to figure out how we got the range of galaxies that are visible today. By studying how galaxies form, evolve, and interact, the JWST aims to provide new insights into the processes that shaped the cosmos. One key focus is understanding the role dark matter and dark energy play in this evolution, as these mysterious forces make up much of the universe's mass and energy, yet remain largely invisible. Additionally, the JWST will give scientists the ability to look deeper into space than ever before, enabling the study of the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. By peering into the distant past, it will help answer fundamental questions about the origins of our universe, the formation of stars and galaxies, and the conditions that allowed life to develop on planets like Earth. Moreover, the JWST will shed light on the role black holes play in shaping the structure of galaxies. These cosmic giants not only influence the movement of stars and gas around them, but they also have a profound impact on the growth and evolution of galaxies themselves. By studying the immense gravitational forces of supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies, scientists will gain a deeper understanding of how these enigmatic objects influence the formation and behavior of their host galaxies. Through the JWST's groundbreaking observations, researchers will also explore the nature of the universe's first light, known as the cosmic dawn. This refers to the time when the first stars began to shine and ionize the surrounding gas, setting the stage for the formation of galaxies and larger cosmic structures. 
The JWST's ability to observe this distant past will provide key insights into the early universe and its evolution. But beyond all of this, the JWST is more than just a tool for exploring the distant past and the deepest regions of space. It represents humanity's quest for knowledge, the desire to understand the universe and our place within it. It is a testament to human curiosity, ingenuity, and perseverance, as well as a symbol of our shared commitment to discovering the unknown. As the JWST continues to unlock the mysteries of the universe, it is clear that its impact on science, technology, and our understanding of the cosmos will be profound. The telescope is already making history, and its discoveries are sure to inspire generations of scientists, explorers, and dreamers to come. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope is not just a marvel of engineering. It is a gateway to the universe. With its unprecedented capabilities and cutting-edge technology, it is poised to reshape our understanding of the cosmos, helping us answer questions about the origins of the universe, the nature of black holes, the potential for life beyond Earth, and so much more. The adventure is just beginning, and the discoveries ahead will undoubtedly leave us in awe of the vast, mysterious universe we call home. Today, and in the ongoing ways the world structure also amass, however, generally critically, the James Webb Space Telescope will help us answer the most basic inquiries of all. Are we alone in the universe? And are we living inside a dark opening? The JWST has already been on the chase, and guess what it found? Compounds called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, stowing away around those enormous super gigantic dark openings in three dynamic systems. These carbon-based particles with ring-like designs are like the goth children of the universe. They're everywhere, from far-off systems to comets in our nearby planet group. Now, they're not simply intriguing because they could be the building blocks of life, but also because they assist cosmologists with tracking star formation. When ultraviolet radiation hits these PAHs, they glow and emit infrared light, a sign that can be detected by the JWST's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI. This is often a signal that there are some hot, young stars nearby. But wait for the twist. An astrophysicist, Ismael Garbernard from Oxford College, decided to concentrate on three dynamic galaxies, NGC 6552, NGC 70319, the widely renowned Stefan's Quintet, and NGC 7469. These galaxies are millions of light years away in the depths of obscurity. Now, what Garcia Bernard found will make your hair stand on end. In those central regions where the dark openings dominate, he found a mass of PAHs. Sounds mind-blowing, right? Well, here's where it gets chilling. The radiation near those enormous dark openings distorted the PAHs, transforming them into larger, electrically neutral versions of themselves. The smaller, electrically charged PAHs evaporated into nothingness. Imagine being consumed by the darkness itself. But wait, there's a flash of hope? Or perhaps not. The ultimate question here isn't whether we're alive. After all, does everything around us exist? On account of the dark opening we're in, everything is connected to the theory that perhaps we're not just living inside a dark opening, but rather inside the event horizon, a line between the universe we know and the unknown. Could it be that everything is connected inside a dark opening? The James Webb Space Telescope is out there right now, looking for the answers to the unexplored world. Stay tuned, and maybe, just maybe, it will make us all reconsider what we thought we knew about existence. The truth may be far more twisted than we realize. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues its mission, it will push the limits of our understanding and potentially answer questions we've been trying to ask for hundreds of years. It's not just a telescope. It's a window into the profound secrets of the universe. Its discoveries might not just uncover the mysteries of dark openings and exoplanets, but also help us grasp our position in the universe. Will it answer whether we are really alone? Will it help us find other living things, maybe hidden in the depths of space or in the atmospheres of far-off planets? The JWST's powerful instruments are capable of probing much deeper into the universe than any telescope before it, revealing structures and phenomena that were previously invisible to us. 
A device could change all that we assumed we knew about the universe, about gravity, and even time itself. The more we understand dark openings, the more we might come to realize how interconnected everything in the universe really is. Maybe we are all part of a bigger, infinite story, one that the JWSD will begin to unravel. Yet, the answers it uncovers won't come without more questions. The more we learn, the more we might wonder about the true nature of reality. Are we simply passing through an infinite experiment? Or are we, as we appear, part of a greater plan? One that extends across dimensions we can't yet fathom? The JWSD will be at the very forefront of this inquiry, looking at the universe in ways that challenge our imagination and figuring out what's more. The telescope will likely change the future of space exploration and the way we think about other galaxies, stars, and dark openings. As we move further into the unknown, the JWST promises to help open the deepest corners of space, possibly allowing us to understand things like the Big Bang, dark energy, or the true mechanics behind gravity. It's an exciting thought that, with the help of this wonderful machine, humankind may uncover answers that have eluded us for centuries. As we relax and take it all in while its revelations unfold, one thing is sure. The James Webb Space Telescope represents humankind's hunger for knowledge, our relentless curiosity about the universe, and our drive to explore the unknown. It's more than just a mission or an instrument. It's a reflection of who we are as a species, looking to the stars for answers, not just for knowledge, but for understanding. 